Today's video is sponsored by our good friends at Famous Faces and Funnies, located in Melbourne, Florida. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. As well as our friends at Docking Bay 94, located in Boca Raton, Florida. Check us out on comicsandgames.com. As well as Ian's Display Accessories. The best stands for vintage Star Wars and Hasbro G.I. Joe. Check us out on Facebook. To. Hi, I'm your presenter, Shabu Are You. Now, piggybacking off of our recent Why You Should Start Collecting Cassettes video, I've been flooded with a lot of inquiries and requests, and it just so happened I was able to acquire a sealed, unopened Sony Walkman, model WMFX221. Now, when I looked this up on Google, this a manufacturer's date was 1995 and if you've seen a, a Instagram or Twitter post just to re remind people you know I'm you know I remember that time and I know some of you may have not even been born but in 1995 we were in the midst of the grunge scene friends that stupid theme song was everywhere I freaking hated it and we had movies like Apollo 13 the first bad boys ironically you know just uh, was released and my uh, uh, cult classic billy madison was in the movie theaters so those are some of the things that were going on in 1995 and i was uh, in football and wrestling and track i was a jock so i was in neck deep with activities and man it brings back some great memories and I do remember a lot of kids having this. Um, <laughs> my parents gave me like the ghetto ones. So I always had like the knock off the GE ones. It wasn't until like my senior year in high school that I actually got a proper Sony Walkman. But I made do with what I had. And um, uh, the best thing about these videos is that they're supposed to be uplifting. And you know, we all, all of us are working you know, we're paying bills and stuff like that. So these videos are just to, you know, help you go back and remember some good times back, you know, in our youth. So I'm actually really excited about this. And if you watched my earlier videos, this is the Sony Walkman. Uh, this is the second Walkman that I have. It's the sport one. And you know, it has, um, it's a little bit more sturdier. But yep, this is the same Walkman. I've kept it in pristine condition all these years. Um, what I do is I take out the batteries and store them like I do with my Discman and my Sony mini disc player. So this way that preserves the quality of your, cause these things are made to last. They're Sony, that's why, you know, they were expensive. So as long as you take proper care of this, um, you should have no problems. Also they have, that's the other thing, is if you're interested in getting one of these, also invest in a cassette cleaner. Now, the other question I've been getting a lot is, aren't these tapes bad? Like, you know, well, there is a, like I pointed out, whether it's CDs, but more so in analog tapes, yes, there is a deterioration in sound quality over the years, but a really good cassette as long as it hasn't been sitting in a hot car and direct sunlight, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gamble. Like, you know, you might get a really good CD, I'm a cassette, and it may be playing like four songs great, and then one song sounds like shit. I mean, it's a, it's a treasure find. You never know what you're going to get. And it's inexpensive for those that are interested. Luckily, I've had an assortment of cassettes that I never, I mean, I just kept things and put them in storage. So to pull these things out and to share, and actually I've been getting a lot of uh, viewer mail uh, in support of this. So thank you, you know who you are. I've, I don't wanna reveal names because uh, you know some people don't wanna have their names revealed. But to those of you that have sent cassettes and you know, this, uh, Walkman, I want to say thank you. I mean, this is going to be awesome. And gosh, it must be like 30 years since I opened a 
cassette player brand new. The thing is, should I or shouldn't I? Should I just keep it in the package? I mean, you, if you guys know me in retro collecting, you know, I, I hate, I hate mint and box stuff. It's just, you know, you're only alive once in your life. So what the hell, you know? And I don't think keeping this in the package is gonna pay for my kid's college tuition. So whatever. Anyway, here we go. So in order to do this correctly, like with any packages, it's good to have uh, the right tools for the tree. And if you know me, you know I'm a strong supporter of Craftsman. So right here I have a Craftsman uh, multi-tool. You can order this online because, you know, um, and of course, if you know, Nudi always makes a guest appearance in all my videos. So we have a multi-tool here and we also have a, a lock blade you know, a box cutter, a Craftsman box cutter, as well as Sears die-hard batteries. So here we go. Wow. Since 1995. Here we go. There's no looking back now. So if you, just to examine the package, uh, you see that it looks pretty, in the back it looks pretty I mean, uh, 1995 was the tail end. Uh, it looks like it was a present, believe it or not. So it was one of those Christmas presents or gifts that <laughs> maybe the person was like, I want a CD player. What the hell is this shit? Um, but anyway, it also has digital tuning. You see mine is the analog. You know, you have to uh, change the dial in order to, you know, uh, get the right radio station. But uh, this, one of the features for this is um, digital tuning, which is kind of cool. The only thing um, at the very, very end of the Walkman life cycle, they offered weather, uh, weather band tuning, which is probably would have been better for me because living in Florida. So here we go. We're gonna do this carefully. And you see I'm cutting away from myself. Because imagine trying to explain this to the ER. Like, yeah, I sliced my freaking finger because I was opening up a Walkman. They'll probably send me to the psych ward right away. The other thing is, if you guys recall, these also came with batteries. So that's another concern is, um, I hope to God that the batteries aren't in the actual unit. I don't remember if Sony used, I think they put them uh, on the side if I remember. All right, so here we go, wow. A Virgin Sony Walkman. Look at that. Look at that. Just. Holy shit. And we have the instruction manual. See, it says it right there. 1995. <laughs> the warranty information? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> hey, so, and of course, the famous, iconic Sony headsets. The 3.5 jack. And I've been telling people, if you are into this, use the old iPod. Um, that's what I'm using on this one. The, the, the old iPod ones are excellent. I mean, I don't buy Beats and all that other crap, you know. I think it's stupid spending $50 for a freaking headset. You know, give Dre more money fund or whoever. 
All right, so we're gonna pop in the batteries. Because I'm a Sears old school nut, yes, I still shop at Sears. And they did close the Sears in Vero Beach, so looks like uh, I'm gonna be having to order. All right, here we go. Dropping in the batteries. Take out the twisty. I'm also interested to see the quality of the Sony headsets versus the quality of the i the iPod headsets. I remember kids getting the big uh, studio ones too. All right, so what's the first CD we're going to put in? We have Pearl Jam 10. Motley Crue, Greatest Hits, Michael Jackson, Thriller, Aerosmith. These are all been donated. Well, except for the Guns N' Roses, I actually bought that. I'm going to do Ozzy because if you know me, I love the Oz. Look at that. It even has the, the sponge in there to protect the head. Now, the other question is also uh, the quality of cassettes. And the thing is like a lot of these cassette players, they're single up to dual heads. So when you have more heads, your sound quality could be as close, and you're using the right type of tape, like a metal tape or whatever, your quality is going to be very very close to cd actually um versus just getting like the 99 cents remember the blank and recording off the radio so um that's another thing if you get the proper analog tapes you're getting a close to digital sound almost but again yep there's a lot of variables into that equation so all right i'm gonna plug this in Adjust these bad boys. All right. You can see it has normal and it has metal. I know this is this is when you're getting old. You have to look at the instructions. Using the bell clip, preset settings, press press the radio on, off button. It's playing cassette. Okay, insert cassette, select the normal, press play. Okay, nothing is happening. Oh crap. Oh, it is. Wow. This is a good one. Wh whoever, the person who sent me the Aussie one gave me a good one. That's pretty damn cool. Wow, just flawless, man. All right, so let's do the switcheroo since I have you guys on. So we're gonna put in, let's see, what is it? 20 years of time has headsets improved. And I'm talking about the, you know, the basic, what everyone, because Back in the day, the Walkman was what everybody got, and now iPhone is what everybody got. So it's like the same, same deal here.
Wow, yeah. Yeah, there's a huge difference. You can hear that? And the clarity of it when it's cranked up all the way. Yep. So, this was an incredible, credible gift. I, I'm, I'm shocked and um, that someone, you know, did that. So, that, that's awesome. Thank you, man. And I'm glad we're going on this little brat. I'm glad we're going on this journey together and I'm glad you were um, a part of this. I mean, opening up a Sony Walkman in over, you know, 25 years, that's freaking nuts, man. Well, this is Shabu RU. I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're gonna go back and do comic recaps. So uh, stay tuned, we have more adventures coming up. Thank you and have a great day. The Sony Walkman is a tiny stereo cassette player with truly incredible sound. Put on a Walkman and see the world in a whole new light. Sony Walkman. The Walkman from Sony, the one and only.